Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, as well as hitting that like button and leaving a comment because all of those things do help my channel grow. I always forget to mention too about that bell button because if you push that, then you'll see every time I upload a new video. I have been working hard on being consistent on uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but sometimes my week gets a little bit off and it turns into like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So, I mean, I've been trying to be consistent with the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so far with the kids back in school, it helps. It helps a little bit. And then what I've been trying to do is Dollar Tree hauls on Wednesdays and Fridays. And then whatever extra kind of thing I'm doing, be it a collective haul or a birthday party or something like that, doing those on Mondays. But again, sometimes that does get a little a little wonky, but that's what I've been trying to do, and I don't want to really say it because you never know if something changes, but that's what I've been, what I've been working on. Um, before I fully get started, let's keep Frugal Jay and Joelle in our prayers. Today is actually Monday. You're not seeing this until Wednesday because you are seeing me today, but it was a collective haul that I recorded last week because of uh, Braxton's birthday, and so... You're seeing me today, but you're not seeing this video until Wednesday, and we need to keep Jay and Joel in our prayers because he did have his surgery. It sounds as though it went well, but he's currently heavily sedated and working on the healing process from the surgery of returning the flap to his skull and kind of filling in that that hole I believe that he had in his skull. So let's send out our love and prayers to Jay. If you have the means to financially help, there is a GoFundMe, I have that link down below. If you head over to her channel, she also has a cash app. And if you can't do that, just send love and prayers or head over to her channel and make sure you're watching her ads because if you didn't know, that's how YouTubers make their money. Today for you, I have a Dollar Tree haul and this is one of those really random Dollar Tree hauls. This is some this, that's, and others that I have picked up. Some of these are things that just kind of been stuck to the side. I don't even know for how long at this point because I always try to haul what is important for what I'm doing and using or if it's new stuff in the stores. So this is kind of my random haul because I haven't had a chance to go shopping since the birthday party, which went really, really well. It was a great time. First, I'm going to start with some stuff that I used today. Um, so this week for Braxton, it's spirit week at school. So again, you're seeing this on Wednesday. So he's had spirit week Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from the time that you've seen it. But let's talk about Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Wednesday's spirit items. So Tuesday is tie-dye day, but he doesn't have any current tie-dye shirts that are in his size. So I did buy these from the Dollar Tree. I used a bunch of it. This is what was left. Um, so I thought it was blue and green, but this does say turquoise. So we'll see when it rinses out. So I picked both of these up. They both come with two sets of gloves and five rubber bands. So you can see it in the bottom of this one. Again, they're open and used and you can't use this. It says to discard after 45 minutes because it starts losing its potency or concentration after that. But I used one set of the gloves that were out of here because that's what I used. I was behind on doing this. I would have had him do it on Sunday of the weekend, but we lost the day between the birthday party and then clean up and all the things. But um, so these are the tie dyes I bought. If if everything's good when I'm editing this video, I'll pop a picture in of Braxton wearing his shirt. But I also bought a t-shirt from Dollar Tree. It was it's either extra large or 2x in boys. I think it was extra large in boys. Um or in kids. And it is a white 100% cotton V-neck t-shirt and it was Fruit of the Loom brand. And so here it is. It's soaking in all the color goodness of the green and blue. It does look very blue. So if you look at it, I don't want to touch it cuz it's, you know, dye, but it looks very blue and not so much turquoise but we'll see once we rinse it so we're in the middle of the soaking in process of the tie-dye process and this evening braxton and i will rinse and wash it so that hopefully he can wear it tomorrow for tie-dye day today is again monday but you're seeing this on wednesday and today was crazy hair and sock day so he does already have a pair of socks that i'm almost positive i picked up at dollar tree they are emoji socks with um smiley face straight face and frowny faces all over them and then for crazy hair because he is growing a glorious mullet we put his hair in a bunch of these little rubber bands well not a bunch he used four he wanted a unicorn horn so he has one right here in front and then we did three in the back with his like 
long, luxurious mullet that he's growing. And so I utilized these from the Dollar Tree. I will be shocked that one of, if I go pick him up and he still has his hair up because he was complaining about the baby hairs and the the things pulling which he's not used to ponytail so i wouldn't be surprised but i will also pop in a picture of his super cute crazy hair here as well for um spirit week now this one i don't know i could probably pop in a picture of it done because i'm going this afternoon to do it and it is um on wednesday is dallas cowboys spirit week day because a coach passed away Coach Jones, he was wonderful. He, My son's been at the same school since kindergarten, and he passed away last year, and my son's now in sixth grade. So it was like we knew him for the five and a half years, um, and he was great. And so his favorite team was the Dallas Cowboys. And I do know we are the Denver Broncos, not that we're doing hot, but we're um, a rival. But I'm going to go over to my best friend's house after I pick Braxton up from school today, and we're going to make a Dallas Cowboy shirt out of this one. This is also Fruit of the Loom size 2x so 18 um and it's just this blue color so right here it says that this was two dollars and 97 cents but i got it for the dollar 25 at dollar tree and we're gonna cricket some heat transfer vinyl htv yeah heat transfer vinyl i've mentioned many a times that i'm afraid of doing it myself i don't have the right colors my best friend does for this um project and so I'm going to go over there and we're going to do it together today so if I should have no problem popping in at least a picture of the shirt it might not be on Braxton though so those are for his spirit week so far then Thursday is dress up as your favorite teacher day and he doesn't know if he's going to participate in that one because he's like I don't really have a favorite teacher that I want to dress up as and then Friday is dress as yourself day so he'll just get to wear regular street clothes because he goes to a charter school and a uniform school he wears a uniform every day so he is excited about dress as yourself day um so when I ran into Dollar Tree to get this stuff, it was because I was getting some last minute items for the birthday party. So I don't have them all in here because they were used. One was some batteries and it was the six pack that I picked up because I bought up some more lights. The ones with the tube, they were the green tube lights and um, I didn't have the batteries for them. So I bought the six pack, but then up there at the register was the eight pack and she had already scanned the six pack. So then I just added on the eight pack so that I have these on hand for anything I need them for, especially coming up with decorating for Halloween. I figured why not? And it's a better deal because you get two more batteries for the same price. I also picked up the little glass stones from like the crafting section, but they're in the bottom of a vase because I did balloons in a vase and I put the stones at the bottom for the weight and to be able to stick the the things, you know, the things with the balloon holder things. Anywho, I picked those up, but they were used and I think I picked up a couple tablecloths. Um, but when I was there, they were starting to put up their winter wear, and I was excited because they had the gloves. Um, I picked up the men's because I think the kids' gloves are probably a little bit too small for Braxton now. These ones will probably be a little bit too big, but we're cutting off the fingers so he can make those work. It's for his Halloween costume. He's being Drift. I might have called him Dash in one of my past videos, but his name is Drift from Fortnite. And from what I could tell, he wears finger black fingerless gloves. And so we're going to cut the fingers off of these and make them the fingerless gloves. For his birthday, he got the mask um, and a gun, a Fortnite Nerf gun. But then I showed him everything else I bought him for the costume so that he knows what that I'm putting it together. And he never argues with me that I'm putting together the costume, which I appreciate. When I was there, I wanted a snack, but then I never opened it. I picked up the Skinny Pop Kettle Corn. Uh, I love kettle corn. I think it's delicious. And I love the Skinny Pop Kettle Corn. But... I didn't have it. I think I picked up some other snack, but I can't remember what now that I had. And I grabbed the two because I was hungry at the time, but I don't remember. Some other snack and probably a soda pop, but I can't remember. Um, and then they had these out. So I grabbed a few of these. So I hauled in my last Dollar Tree haul, I believe it was the last haul, um, some items that I'm going to make crystal balls for the trunk or treat. And so I got the plastic bowls, some of the like mesh ribbon and lights. Did I get the lights that time? Yes. No, I can't remember. Um, 
I need to double check because I need to buy them if I didn't. But I'm going to make some crystal balls for our trunk or treat because I'm doing a fortune teller trunk. And so I wanted just to have probably some with like lit up with the lights. Kind of like I'm doing an apothecary in the trunk and then I'll have a table to be like my fortune teller booth. And we actually have a big old glow ball that changes colors that like you can put outside or um, whatever you're doing. And so I think I'll probably use that as my crystal ball because it's just fun and bright. But then I want like other crystal balls like, you know, kind of like around like in the trunk and stuff since I'm going to be a fortune teller. And so I picked up three of these. I know I have at least one down in my basement and my Christmas stuff from last year. But I, I mean, I won't necessarily make them all into crystal balls, but now I have options because then I also will have them for Christmas if I want to do any DIYs for Christmas as well. But currently it's to make crystal balls. I saw one person, she did it with water and glitter and baby oil and it was beautiful, but I don't think it'll be like light enough because it's at night in the dark when we do the trunk or treat. So, so probably won't do that. Um, again, this is going to be a super random haul because this is some stuff that I've been picking up and I just haven't hauled it yet. And I need to haul this because I actually need them. So in my pantry, I utilize these for the kids' snacks. And so even though they're prepackaged, I don't necessarily use the pour lid for them. But the kids, like when, granola bars, I have one of these just full of like granola bars. I have one full of applesauce. Um, and then like little bags of Cheez-Its and stuff like that and they're all labeled in there and they say snacks and the kids know like if they want a snack they go to the the containers and right now I have four six of them in there and so like the two in the back there's one stacked and then two but I have some snacks now just like they're they're full the kids need to eat the snacks um, but I need another extra one just to fit in the other stuff so I picked up two more just to have them because I do need to do kind of a a reset of my pantries and my refrigerator and kind of clean them out clean them up reorganize them and so I wanted to get a couple of these because I hadn't seen them in quite a while because my pantry I did like a year and a half ago when I bought all of them but now I haven't seen them in a while I saw more I picked up two just to have them on hand to be ready when um it's time to do my cleanup and organization and same with these guys i bought two braxton's actually using one for some snacks because i didn't have any more of those containers so he put his lemon cookies that i hauled a while back we packaged them into packages of either three or four cookies and we stuck them all in one of these so that that way they're contained in there but i use these currently for pancake mix i have two of them in my pantry they have pancake mix and kodiak pancakes so high protein pancake mix and then I also use them for the flour self self rising flour and I have some of the shorter ones for like sugar and brown sugar like and I labeled them all I labeled them on this little spot right here because it is flat and smooth and like I used my Cricut and labeled them and so I like the way it turned out and I was needing more and I don't remember for what rice but I bought some shorter ones for rice but I needed these because I was like, I need these so that I could put the stuff in the, these. And now I don't remember for what because I didn't do it. But when I go through and do my whole pantry cleanup, um, I'll be able to figure it out and use them. So again, one of them Braxton's using right now for snacks, but I'll move that over to the one that's for snacks and then have the two of these for uh, pantry organization. And our pantry, so we have our pantry in the kitchen, but then we utilize our laundry room for like overflow but we're redoing our laundry room we got a new to us washer and dryer and so that's a big part of why I need to get the stuff out and like reorganize revamp re you know just reorganize uh so Christmas is coming so I've been picking up things for the kiddos be it for my kiddos be it for family kiddos or for donation gifts because I'm going to go through all my stuff here soon and get a bunch of stuff to just do for donations because I, I I shop a lot I mean you see me and so I do have little toys and stuff all over the place some of which I did probably have intentions to give to my kids some of which I intended to put in gift baskets but I think I'm just going to do like like some sort of donation for the holidays but I did pick these ones up for Lorelai because I thought she would really enjoy these little crafter sets so it says crafted up there is a green briar label on the back but they're just little like string macrame sets and I thought they were too cute. So this one you can make a rainbow 
And so it says it comes with just the four different colors of string. And then it looks like probably the rope that goes underneath. Oh no, it's just another white string. So you get a white string. I think that's like the inside part. And then you wrap it that one around with the three other colors. And then it turns into a rainbow. And so it has the directions on the back, which... Or no, it's, they're in there. So it says it comes with the four strings and then instructions. So I got that one. And then they also had the cute cactus. So this one just comes with a white and the green. I thought that was rope underneath, but it's just another string that you wrap the string around. And then, sorry, my pups are coming in and out. This one that you make like the feathers, which I think that that is too cute. Like if you learn how to make those feathers, like think about your crafting abilities. And that one only comes with the pink because apparently you don't need any other. And then the um, how to. So I got those. I thought Lorelai would like that. She likes to make things and do like craft sets like that. And then I was excited because I found these little grab bags. These ones are the Sonic the Hedgehog. And they are like little keychains. So I picked up four. Supposedly it says collect them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like there's supposed to be eight of them. And I try to look for the cheat code. I learned from a YouTuber. I haven't watched her channel in too long. I can't. Yeah, I can't think of her name. But I did learn from a YouTuber that a lot of times there's a cheat code on the blind bags. But these ones, all the numbers are the same. So either they're all the same. Or this one just doesn't have a cheat code, which is more my assumption. But, so I picked up four of these. Um, I know my nephew loves Sonic the Hedgehog. He actually was debating being Sonic for Halloween. So they might go in his gift. Or I have my two boys. And so, you know, they might get like one for each of them. And then two for Eli's gift. Something like that. But I just thought that those were too cute and too neat. Because I love it that Sonic's coming back. Considering like... Sonic used to be back when we had the Sega, but Segas don't exist anymore, but you know, Sonic's out there. And then other little blind bags that I found are Trolls. So they have these little blind bags and it says series eight, collect all 12 of the little Trolls. So when I was in the store, there were a bunch of them that were like ripped open. So somebody was cheating. These ones do have a cheat code. Um that I was able to find on there. So I was trying to just find all different ones and then I came across the open ones. But so right here, you could barely see it, but there's a little imprinted number and they're different. So there, there was a cheat code. But the, since these are open, I wouldn't care if I still put them in like a little gift for my kiddos. But this is what they look like when you pull them out and just like, is that Poppy? Yeah, that's Poppy. Um, no, Poppy has pink hair. I don't know who that is. I don't know all the trolls. But there's that one. And then this is Branch, I think. It's been a minute since I watched trolls. So you got him with the crazy hair. And one of them, I thought it had something else in there, but maybe, oh, maybe that one was a little different guy. Not a troll. Cause this one doesn't feel like a troll this one is i wonder if it's like one of the like little pets like one of the little guys because one of the open ones had something different because that's a troll you could tell and that one's a troll but so that's what those are little troll blind bags these ones only had like for the the number the cheat code number they didn't have any of the other like any that weren't ripped open so i just grabbed them and let, let the person know because there were some other ones that were ripped open that were the same as these or the um, codes that I found that weren't ripped open. And so, um, someone sometimes people just suck, you know? They just aren't great and they rip open for everyone else. Yeah, so there are little guys in there. So here's the little thing that you get inside. And there's like the little pets in there as well. And so one of those is the, like the little, one of the little pets. I don't remember which one, but 
Um, I don't know if any of my kiddos are still into trolls, and if the ones that aren't open, if I'll like do more of like a donation or something, but I just thought those were cute, so I picked them up, because who doesn't love a blind bag? Braxton used to not love a blind bag. He used to get real upset if it wasn't the one he wanted when he was little, but we've grown out of that. And I have mentioned now that Eric is super into dinosaurs currently. Like, he wants to have a dinosaur birthday party, which, thank goodness, like, I have a break for birthday parties. His, party, his birthday is not till May, so I have a little break. But for Christmas, um, I'm picking up some dinosaurs for him because currently he does have some, just not a ton, and his dinosaurs fight his sharks. He This is a kid with such an imagination. And so I thought that he would like having like dinosaurs in this size because these are decent sized little dinosaurs for $1.25. So we have the T-Rex, the Velociraptor, the Stegosaurus. I don't know if I'm going to know the rest of their names. Let's see. Oh, the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus. I don't remember the difference between the two. And the Pterodactyl. Yes, I knew them all. Um... So these are all that they had there. They didn't have a, a Triceratops. That's my favorite. But this is all that they had. So I picked them all up because they will be put away for Christmas for Eric. Because the, is his current obsession is dinosaurs. Best kid. Like we had an argument the other day about the Gigantosaurus and the Mosasaurus. But I thought he was saying the Mostosaurus. And he was saying that the Mostosaurus was going to beat me because I was being the T-Rex. And I was like, that doesn't even exist. And he's like, yes, it does. So I asked Google and he was saying Mosasaurus. Oh, he meant became the Mosasaurus because I said that I was the uh, gigantic shark Magnalodon uh, because I was trying to avoid his Velociraptor or whatever it was he was being. But then he was the Mosasaurus because that's a water dinosaur. So that kid always be proving me wrong and it drives me crazy. Also for the kids... I found these, they're little bags, little pop it coin purses, I guess is what they would be. And I picked up these colors. I don't know if I'm going to give them to all my kids or use them for donations yet again, but these ones at least the, they can have. So this one has the little like triangles on the top, so it could be like a, a stegosaurus. And then this one's just red, and this one is just a purple heart. So it is possible that I could give them to each of my kids. I don't know if Braxton would want one of these at this point, but um, so they're just little poppets and then you pop them out, but then they can hold your change too. So um, they're very like rubbery feeling. These ages five up, pop snap carabiner zipper case, not green briar, um, distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories. So. Yeah, I thought either for my kids or other kids that I know, um, or a mixture of both because um, Braxton, you know, being 12 now, he's getting a little older, so now it's kind of trying to decide um, what he he likes that it's still kiddish, but like, you know, that are old enough for him. So I found some more fake Lego people in the five sets, and I always love it when I find the five sets of these guys. So this one is the Coast Guard. I don't know if this is different than the ones that I've found in the past, but I think they are, but I couldn't tell you for 100% certainty. So it looks like it has like a captain, a scuba guy, two people with orange vests, which I don't understand how they're the, co I guess Coast Guard, and then um, the other, I don't know, the other dude. So five different dudes that say they're the Coast Guard. Then we have the wizards and so like the wizard sorcerers. So this one, when I first saw it, I thought of Braxton because, you know, kind of Harry Potter-ish. He still likes Harry Potter. We haven't gotten away from that yet, but eventually I'm sure that will happen. So we have, yeah, just different wizards and sorcerers and like magical, magical little dudes. And then we also have the pirates. And so I thought those were neat. So those, the two Coast Guard and Pirates will probably go to Eric. I'll give those to him. He'll like them. And then the Wizards, I'll give it to Braxton because they can kind of go with his Harry Potter stuff. And yeah, but those are cute. And you get five of them for $1.25, which is a much better deal than you get um, with real Lego people. And then they also had this one. 
So it is a mystery one, a mystery box. So you get three of them in here. Which three will you get? And I don't know if this shows the three that it's the possibility of getting. I assume. It's like which three out of those ones will you get? But I just thought that was neat. Like, hey, guess you know mystery box. So grab that one. I picked this up for Dylan. He is my best friend's son. She loves turtles and he loves cars. And so I thought that that would be cute to add to his Christmas gift. I don't know what I'm getting him yet for Christmas, but you know, I always like to buy the little add-ons. And then these I just thought were neat and they'll probably go to Dylan, but you know, I my kids would like them as well. So I don't know for sure, but they are like rescue cars by the Turbo Wheels brand. So the Dollar Tree brand. And so we have the police car and the fire car, but they come with the accessories of the raft and then like the little trailer. So I thought those were neat too. And then some other little crafting sets are by Crayola and they're little felt flowers, which I thought were super cute. And so like those ones look like kind of daisies and those ones maybe like tulips. I don't know if they tell you what kind of flowers. They're just say felt flowers. You get four in each. They include the felt, the pipe cleaners, and some of those different colors. And it looks like probably the smiley faces too. So those were cute. I just liked those. And again, they either will go to my kids, to friends and family kids, or get donated for the holidays. I've hauled one of these once before, but this one I will probably gift to one of my children or as like a gift. So these can hold, it says Lego people are cars. And so I went to Dylan and I filled it up with cars for him for his birthday and he was really excited. And it's like, you know, that thought process that you can put your favorite ones in there like when you're going somewhere. My kids also like to take something with them, especially if they're gonna be in a car for too long. So this would be a way of like, yeah, you can use that little box cause then it's all contained, take it with you and then make sure that it all stays in the box. So maybe actually for both the all three of them actually because Lorelai can have the same role like if you're bringing little toys because they like to bring Legos with them a lot but then that way it's all contained and maybe that helps prevent them from getting lost I don't know and then lastly for the toys and probably lastly for this haul because we are already pretty far in um, we'll do a part two though so keep an eye out and then I'll keep showing you more of my randomness that I have are these growy guys we have a dolphin and a lobster and these are just neat I do actually have a thought process for the lobster it's not even to give to a kid but um they have all the different sea creatures that you could find supposedly it grows up to 600 percent I think they're a big liar they never grow that big so I don't trust that one bit they do get a little bit bigger but they also get weird and slimy but I have a whole other thought process of the lobster which eventually you'll see eventually but I I can't put it all out there right now because um because I just can't put it all out there right now. So guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope that I get the pictures in of Braxton for Spirit Week so that you could see him with um, all the stuff that we put together. Thank goodness for the Dollar Tree because it makes things like Spirit Week so much more affordable with things that like he's not going to wear regularly so the dollar 25 t-shirts are a lifesaver i appreciate that so so much when i find those there um i love you guys so much i appreciate all of you so much i wish that i could tell you all that you know to your face but i can't but i can tell you here i just appreciate you guys so much for being here with me and joining me and supporting me in this adventure that i'm still on a year and a half almost a year and a half later, which is crazy to me how fast time goes. Um, so I hope that you are also enjoying the ride. I have a fun week ahead. That's why you're seeing this beforehand. Um, today's Monday. I, I set out, you know, to kind of clean up from the party, finish. I did dishes today and did the things and you do my YouTubes. Tomorrow is Tuesday and I get to meet up with one of my subscribers and she's coming to Colorado for family, but we are going to have breakfast and go to some Dollar Trees. So I am so looking forward to that. And then, but you'll hear about that next week probably because I'm pre-recording this week um and then on Wednesday I get to babysit my niece Maxine and I just like spending my afternoons with her it's been fun um just watching a baby be a baby because my kids are so big and then Thursday Friday hopefully I'm decorating for Halloween because I'm I'm already behind on that but this week has been a busy week so um I will see you guys I can't wait until I see you next time you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you later bye